to do. So I called Claire. I was a sobbing mess. I didn't know any of this would happen. And knowing that my dad has been here the whole time and that he actually cared, it hurt. It hurt a lot when Claire picked up. It was horrible. She couldn't get a word out of me. I was crying so much. When I finally did, she went speechless. She just didn't know how to respond, how to react. So I told it again, and it finally sunk in. She, she broke down, and it hurt me even more to know that her mother did this to us, to make us break. And she told me to come home. <laughs> she told me to come home, her real home. Because this was at home. And that's exactly, it's exactly what I did. I told Claire about everything, about what mom had said. She, she couldn't really understand it either. I told her about what I found, what our dad had given me. She was stunned. And she thought it was the most amazing thing in the world. She said, she said she was even jealous of me. Dad had taken time to remember my birthday, but we didn't even know him yet. Claire and I were determined to find our father. We wanted to see him again. We wanted to get things figured out. We just wanted answers and we were gonna get them one way or another. So we went for it and we found him. So we planned to meet him. We were so nervous, I was at least, I was so nervous. I just wanted to make a good impression and to see him again. And then he walked up and my heart stopped. It was incredible. And like that, our dad was there. When we saw him, he waved and then he came over and gave us a huge hug. and. He told us, he told us that he missed us and we felt exactly the same. We were just reunited with our dad. It's the most incredible feeling in the entire world. And we needed to get to know him more, so that's what we did. Our life wasn't perfect, but then again, no one's is. We were on our road, our road to happiness.